Any desk versus Ultra Viewer, my honest take after using both. When it comes to remote desktop tools, Any Desk versus Ultra Viewer has been a debate I've often come across. So I decided to test both over the past few weeks for my own workflow, sometimes helping friends fix their computers, sometimes accessing my own system from another room or location. And let me tell you, both have their strengths, but there's a clear difference in experience depending on what you actually need. Starting with ease of use, I felt like Ultra Viewer was more intuitive right out of the box. The layout is super clean, very Facebook-like in terms of color and simplicity, which oddly made it more comfortable to use. You just launch it, share your ID and password, and you're connected. AnyDesk isn't hard by any means, but it does feel a bit more tech-heavy at first glance. You might need a minute to find where everything is and get comfortable navigating. Now here's where things really started to split, the free versions. Ultra Viewer is straight up free. I mean completely. You can use it for personal stuff, business work, whatever you want, and there's no time limit, no annoying pop-ups, nothing. It just works. Meanwhile, AnyDesk has this weird habit of throwing in messages like commercial use suspected, even when you're not doing anything remotely commercial. After a few longer sessions, I'd get disconnected or limited unless I paid. That's kind of frustrating, especially when you're mid-task. In terms of security, I didn't notice any big issues with either. Both of them use end-to-end -end encryption and make you share a specific ID and password before any connection is made. You can also kick someone off anytime if you're the host, so no one's doing anything sneaky without your say. Performance-wise, I was actually surprised Ultra Viewer felt a bit faster and smoother, especially when I was accessing a system over a weaker connection. According to some sources, it uses a better compression algorithm, and honestly, it shows. Any desk is definitely fast too and doesn't lag much, but Ultra Viewer had that tiny extra boost that just made remote work feel snappier. Now, features-wise, they're both pretty solid. Both let me access multiple monitors, transfer files, and handle most remote desktop tasks you'd expect. But Ultra Viewer has a little chat box that throws in smart prompts, which I didn't expect to like as much as I did. If you're constantly typing similar instructions like click the start menu, it really saves time. AnyDesk doesn't have that feature, but it does have the major advantage of being cross-platform. I used it on my phone and Linux laptop without issues, while Ultra Viewer only works on Windows for now. They say other versions are in the works, but for now, it's Windows or nothing. Finally, let's talk price if you're thinking about going paid. Ultra Viewer starts at about $48 per year for the light version, then goes up to $72 for professional and $96 for premium. That's super affordable, especially for freelancers or small businesses. Any desk, on the other hand, is noticeably pricier, around $155 per year for solo, $311 for standard, and over $800 for advanced. So unless you really need advanced features or cross-platform access, Ultra Viewer just makes more financial sense. All in all, if you're someone who wants unlimited use for free and you're working within Windows, Ultra Viewer honestly impressed me more than I expected. It's lightweight, efficient, and doesn't make you feel like you're being punished for not paying. But if you need to access Mac, Linux, or mobile devices regularly, AnyDesk is your best bet, as long as you're okay with paying for the full experience.